Hi, my name is Chris, and I'd like to show you how you can turn your overhead into an iPad stand. With the iPad stand, you'll be able to turn your iPad into a document camera and a working smart board. All you'll need to be able to do this is a screwdriver and some Velcro. The Velcro is the only cost that you would need to make this conversion. The total price for this package that I got is $1.79. Everything else you need is right here in the unit itself. So, let's get started. First of all, I'm going to do two things as I work on this. I'm going to take the head of the projector off, and then I'm going to take the diffuser panel out from the middle of the unit and put it on top of the unit so that I can project my iPad from it. So, in order to take the head off, I just take apart the um, head so that I can access the screws underneath. I take off the screws. Now I have the head removed and I'm ready to put the diffuser on top of the post and the arm here for the iPad. The diffuser panel actually comes from inside the overhead itself. Right here in every overhead is a diffuser panel. It's what makes the beam of light get to be uh, big and white and full so that it can work in overhead projector but in our case we're not using this anymore to project from we're only using it uh, to make it into a stand so that we can use the iPad to project so what I've done here is I've taken the diffuser panel out now I've put on here three spots of velcro which correspond to the post and the arm, which have the other pieces of Velcro on them. I then simply lay them on top so that they stick. And now I have an iPad stand. When I put my iPad on top of the unit, what you're going to find is that now we can see into the unit itself. So, to take care of that problem, I simply found something hard that I can put down underneath. And in this case, I like having some color, so I've made it so that it has a blue background. And now, I can project. I'd like to show you how you can use your iPad stand now in the classroom. There's a number of great options that you have once you have this set up like this. For starters, if you go to the camera, you have the ability to quite simply just demonstrate anything. Just exactly like if it was a document camera. I'm not turning on the camera, I just have the camera setting up and running. It's just projecting through the actual iPad camera. One of the things that I've done when I put this in here is that I've made sure that the actual camera itself is over the edge of the diffuser panel. I'm not actually projecting through the diffuser panel. Keep in mind that now that I've taken my overhead apart, there is no actual projection happening through the unit. What I have here instead are two flat surfaces that are just at the right height for me to be able to demonstrate whatever I want to do, whether it's a math, whether it's to do with math, or whether it's to do with a story that I want to read to the class. I can demonstrate all this stuff and I'm not actually 
using the camera at this point. However, if I want, I can just tap and I have a screenshot of what I've done. If I want to record myself reading this book, I can do that. I can just move this over, slide it over to the video setting, press record. Now I'm recording myself reading this story. I am at the zoo. I am at the zoo. Look at the monkey. Look at the elephant. The great thing about this is, as a teacher, you could read this story to your class, you could record yourself reading it, and then at a later point you could actually hand the iPad over to a student, and they could just play back you reading the book on their own as an extra activity or if it was a student that had missed the class that day they could catch up doing that. The wonderful thing about this is that whatever I'm doing can be saved instantly and accessed instantly through the photo album. If I just go to the photo album here last pictures there are of my video that I just made of being at the zoo. Now I'm recording myself reading this story. I am at the zoo. I am at the zoo. Or I have the screenshot that I took during my reading, which I can come back to to emphasize whatever it is that I want to emphasize. Same with if I am working with the math manipulatives. Once I have the camera up and running, I have my math manipulatives out. I could, let's say I'm rearranging them in a pattern. And I want to ask my students about this pattern. I can now take a picture of this. This is a video, so I won't do that. I can now take a picture of this. And I can use it in another app. The app that I'm going to show you that I have found to be really helpful is an app called IPEVO Whiteboard. Go to IPEVO Whiteboard. You have the option of looking live at the at uh, the workspace or pulling in a picture from the photo library. You'll see there that I have background, library, camera, screenshot. If I, if I pull something from the photo library, I can grab something from earlier, like that. When I have this up and running, I could emphasize if I wanted to, I could say, where's the noun here? And I could use this option here, and I could grab grab the word monkey as being the noun. If I wanted to talk about the monkey's arms or something like that, I could draw on it arms. I could use handwriting. Or if I find that to be too messy, I can go back here into the text and I can type in the word arms. If I find that the color is too dark, tap on it, I can make it uh, larger. Then I can also change the color of this here in the corner. I could make it white. And there I go. I could move that if I want. If I find that it's not in the right spot. Once I start to build my library on whiteboard, I have uh, more options. So if I go back to my drawing that I did, my uh, numbers that I was working with, 
Hold on, I, uh, let's just save this first. I can save this. I can save this to Camera Roll or Evernote. I can even email the image if I want, but for right now I'm just going to save that to Camera Roll. Then, if I tap on the camera here, I can see what I was working on, the pattern that I was doing. And if I want to save this and use this, I can uh, take a picture of it later. But let, right now, I just want to talk about the fact that, okay, what do we have here? We have green, red, red, green, red. Now, if I, take, if I tap the uh, shutter, I get the picture of it that I can use for later. That is just a little taste of the app IPEVO Whiteboard. If you'd like to know more about how to implement iPads in the classroom, I set up a website, the iPadTestKitchen.com, to help teachers as they seek to implement iPads in the classroom. Thank you for watching.